Well, good morning, beloved. This is your girl, Sharon, once again from my front seat. I will lift up my eyes into the hills from what's cometh my help, for my help cometh where? From the Lord. Amen. So good morning again, beloved. So I was thinking on this morning what to share. And I was reminded of a conversation yesterday and some things that are happening in the workplace. As we know, in a few days, we will be celebrating Halloween. And we know that Halloween is not just about, you know, getting some candy, saying trick or treat, you know, things like that. It has grown. I remembered as a child, I think I was in sixth grade and we had a parade and my mother brought my costume to the school and she took it out the bag and it was Fred Flintstone. And I thought, Hmm. But I realized this morning why I was Fred Flintstone because I was a fat girl and Fred Flintstone was a fat man. So I guess the Fred Flintstone costume came in larger sizes. I don't know. But in the one parade I was in with the costume, I was Fred Flintstone. But nevertheless, back to the point. So there's like this competition between the different teams where I work and whomever has the, you know, spookiest or whatever, you know, set up. So the theme on the team in which I sit is Pet Cemetery. And when they said that, I was like, oh, my goodness, you know, ugh, OK, whatever. So they're decorating and they have these cobwebs going all over the place and everything. And one lady said, wow. It's looking dark already. And I said, well, you know, that's what demons do. They make things dark. The enemy comes to bring darkness. And all they did was strong these, you know, spider web looking, cobweb looking kind of things, right? So I'm taking one for the team on this one, right? So I said, now y'all putting all this stuff around and what have you. I said, now, come December, I'm expecting to see some baby Jesuses floating around from cubicle to cubicle. And they looked and it was like, uh, hmm, that would be church and state. And we can't talk about church in the state. And my thought was, don't you all realize that there are those who worship demons there are those and there is a religion and where they worship witchcraft and sorcery and all of these things are in place. Do you not realize that this demonic stuff you hanging up is church in state? Think about it. All right. But they didn't want to hear that, beloved. They just did not want to hear it. So come December, I'm really going to have to fight for some baby Jesuses. But I was just thinking this morning, this is what happens. Oftentimes, and especially in the workplace, we find that when holidays or when days of celebration come up, we embrace, you know, Day of the Dead. And I work with a lady and I tell you, she can dress Day of the Dead, you know, and it's like, wow, that's pretty cool. What is that about, you know? And we, you know, we accept these things. But this whole Halloween thing, you know, we're willing to accept it and we're willing to allow gory, bloody things, things that represent darkness. There are zombies floating around the walls, just all sorts of crazy stuff, right? And the winner gets breakfast. Hmm. But I was just thinking, you know, we allow those things and we don't realize that, um, there is a dark side to life. And as children of God, we must embrace the light. And although you may be in a workplace and although ghosts and goblins and ghouls and witches and, you know, half bodies and just all these sorts of things are floating around the workplace, just let your light shine. 
take this time, this opportunity, you know, not to be rebellious, you know, because if you win, you know, you're going to be eating them bacon and sausages. They're going to give you with that winner's take all breakfast. You know, you will. <laughs> At least I know I will. Good God Almighty, I love bacon. <sighs> but nevertheless, Use this opportunity to shine. Use this opportunity to talk about the goodness of the Lord and just let your light shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. So let your light shine, especially during this season. I don't even know if it's a, it's a, sea, it's a, it's a holiday, but it's one that's celebrated. Um, eat a Reese cup for me. You know what I'm about to say? This is your girl, Sharon, from my front seat. Let me get out of this car and go inside and render unto Caesar those things which be un which belong to Caesar. And if it be the Lord's will, I will meet you on tomorrow, same place, same time, from my front seat. So again, beloved, although the ghosts and goblins and all of those things are floating around the workplace, let the Spirit of God be evident in your life and you bring light to this dark world. I love you. This is your girl Sharon from my front seat. I'm out. Deuces.